3DS Max has reached another milestone in its development. A few days ago, its latest release 22.2 was released with plenty of new features and performance boosts. The speed of saving files got doubled in comparison to the previous version, which minimizes the workflow disruption and I think it is a nice addition. Still, this performance increase range depends on the complexity and the size of the scene and the hardware capabilities. And full 3D plugin got integrated into this release for better peel, relax and packing. It is now the default algorithm used in 3ds Max's peel operations and the UV mapping results are enhanced overall where the unwrap UVW modifier processing has been improved. Besides its threading, it can now be applied up to 8.5 times faster and the edit UV window can now open in up to 2.5 times faster and work with quicker selection and manipulation of UV data. The smart extrude operation has also got its share in this series of improvements. It allows now multiple partial cut-through operations on the edible poly objects in just one action. And it supports now partial merge, where the results that partially overlap other existing poly surfaces will be added or subtracted, then joined together along the intersection, which makes the whole operation much more seamless. And because a lot of 3D artists prefer to work with graphic tablets, 3ds Max 2022.2 has gotten better support for the full range of pressure sensitivity for the pen of the tablet devices. And it is available for all 3ds Max's brush tools and functions. 3ds Max 2022.2 release also focused on improving USD performance. It improved the support for the camera and photometric light importing and exporting as well as the support for exporting animation data such as node transform animations, vertex animation cache, material and spline. It also improved the performance of exporting mesh and scene data. The USD view now is available with the required dependencies. These improvements came along with some extra features such as adding the export options to include or exclude hidden nodes in the USD exporter to control the export of map channel data from meshes and automatically open exported USD files in the USD view after exporting the scene. This update also provides the ability to hide by category improvement. It got the options to show renderable objects only or to keep everything visible, plus the option of toggling backward and forward between scene contents only and all the categories and filters including geometries, helpers, shapes, lights, cameras and so on. This improvement may seem simple but it can ease up the workflow, saves time, and allows the user to avoid selecting each object manually. I hope you found this useful. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one.